This video is part of a four-part series on thinking ahead. Here we discuss determining preconditions before devising a solution to a problem. So no matter what problem you're devising a solution for, there are almost always a number of preconditions that will affect how you design that solution. It doesn't matter what problem you're trying to tackle, it's always a good idea to take a step back and ask yourself, are there any conditions already in place that I need to take into consideration? So let's work through some real world examples of this concept. Imagine you were preparing a three course meal for a group of friends. What preconditions might you need to consider before you got started? Well, how many friends you're inviting over? That's going to depend obviously on how many ingredients you need to buy. Are there any specific dietary requirements? Is someone gluten intolerant? Are there any vegetarians? Do you have a fixed budget or cost in mind? Are any of the recipes you're coming up with require any specialist cooking equipment? And do you own those like a steamer? Do you already have any of the ingredients you need for the meals you're planning to keep the cost down? And how much actual time do you physically have to design and prepare this three course meal? All of these are reasonable preconditions which would affect the contents of the meal that you chose to create. Let's look at a different scenario. Imagine you're planning an upgrade for your school's computer suite. Now you could simply go ahead without considering any of the potential preconditions and price up the cost of a new high spec computer lab. Of course, what you should do is think ahead and consider the preconditions that might already exist, which could affect your proposed solution. There's obviously many answers to this, and some of them are shown on the screen, typical preconditions that might exist. Now, preconditions often impose sensible restrictions and sometimes very frustrating, yet essential ones. Either way, these preconditions will have implications on factors such as time and cost, as well as the overall solution that you end up producing. Under exam conditions, you'll be expected to look at a wide variety of real life and computer science related problems and talk about some of the realistic preconditions that could affect your solution. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What do we mean when we say it is important to determine preconditions before devising a solution to a problem? To help get your head around everything to do with computational thinking, we have a freely available downloadable cheat sheet. It's got two sides to it. There's a basic poster that reminds you at a top level what the five different strands are. And on the back, there's a much more detailed explanation. This resource is completely free from student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down and select the section that says A-Level Revision. You'll then see a section called OCR, AS and A-Level, and there's a number of cheat sheets in there, including two versions of the computational one. Just click download to get the zip file. 